Hi, my name is Parik Fleming and I'm a consultant orthodontist based in London and East Kent Hospitals in the UK. And I've been asked by Dr. Kokic to discuss our paper on abstract reporting quality, published in this month's American Journal of Orthodontics. Now we're all familiar with the consort statement, which was initially published in 1996 and updated most recently in 2010. Submissions of clinical trials in orthodontics should adhere to consort recommendations to allow complete and transparent reporting, which in turn will aid critical analysis and interpretation of randomized controlled trials. Now we all know that busy clinicians rely heavily on abstracts to guide their clinical practice. And consequently, a 16-item consort checklist was published by Hopewell and others in 2008 specifically to improve reporting of abstracts of RCTs. In our study, we identified RCTs published in four leading orthodontic journals from 2006 to 2011. The checklist we used involved 21 questions related to consort for abstracts items. The scores for individual items were combined and a percentage compliance score calculated for individual abstracts. So what did we find? Well, certain aspects were very well reported. However, insufficient reporting of the randomization procedure, allocation concealment and blinding was found. And failure to report confidence intervals and harms was almost universal. Registration of RCTs and sources of funding were not reported in any of the identified abstracts. The mean overall reporting quality score was around 60%, with little change in reporting quality between 2006 and 2011. So what is the significance of these findings? Well, unfortunately, reporting of abstracts of RCTs is not what it could be, and it is not improving. And this pattern indicates that there's a lack of awareness of guidelines for abstract reporting of randomised controlled trials. It would therefore be helpful if journal editors could, as a minimum, raise the awareness of these guidelines to encourage adherence. To conclude, I would suggest referring to the paper by Hopel and others before submitting your next report of a randomised controlled trial to an orthodontic journal. Thank you very much.